All right, y'all, welcome back to Philly D's Garage. So today, we're gonna talk about my vacuum pump. So, um, I use this pump to uh, vacuum out uh, my car's AC systems whenever I'm doing an AC job. Um, so this is my ATD uh, vacuum pump. So over the years, I've been using this pump and it's about time I changed the oil. So let me show you guys how how dirty this oil is. Um, so it's, it's, it's really, it's the job of the oil to like, um, it basically absorbs all the, the dirty impurities and uh, all the moisture and stuff out of your AC system. So it's going to get dark over the years. Um, a little bit about this pump. So it's a one stage pump. It's a quarter of a horsepower. So it's not really strong like a two stage uh, vacuum pump. Um, it moves about one and a half uh, cubic feet of air and it's 115 volts. So today I'm just gonna simply show y'all how to drain this fluid out, this oil and to refill it. Um, over time, like I said, it's gonna get dirty. Every time you use it, the oil is gonna get dirty and this pump is not gonna work uh, efficiently unless that fluid is in good condition. So, you know, if it's real dirty like this, it may take a longer time for you to, peel, to uh, pull a vacuum onto your car's AC system because of the fluid. So, and I've noticed that using this pump that it takes a little longer. It's, it was still working, but it did. It, it takes longer for it to pull it down, uh, to pull the moisture out. So I'm gonna show you how to drain this oil. So I'm gonna use this uh, pan right here. And uh, you got a fill right here and your drain is right here. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how dirty this oil is. And I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, dirty oil and how clear it should actually be. All right, so I got my pan set up right here and I got the uh, pump just sitting up on a cart. So you want it high enough so you can get to this little drain here. So on my particular setup, it's a 12 millimeter. So, oh, wow, yeah, turn your wrench the right way. Get it on there, twist it off. That's loose enough. Make sure you got it set up so you won't get it all on the floor. Screw it, screw it out. All right, so there you go. So what you could do is to make this come out quicker, you could just take this fill off and it should come out a little quicker. But y'all see how dirty that fluid is. It shouldn't be that dark. All right, so now you're gonna notice on these pumps, they should have a max and a minimum on here. So when you fill it up with the, the oil, just fill it up to the to the max uh, with your fluid. So as you can see, I don't even think that's, uh, let's see here. That's not even a quarter of a, uh, I don't know. It might be maybe a half of, I don't know. That's not even a quarter of a quart. So it doesn't take that much as y'all can see. And that's pretty dark. So, um, so I got a container fluid here. So what you want to do is this is a one stage uh, pump, like I told you earlier. So they do have one stage and two stage uh, oils for these pumps. So since I got plenty of fluid in here, I'm gonna run some of this uh, fresh fluid through to get some of that old fluid out. Y'all can see how clear this fluid is, right? That's what that fluid should look like. All right, so you're just gonna flush it out a little bit, some clean oil. 
All right, we're gonna throw that uh, train, uh, drain plug back on. All right, so once you got your uh, drain plug uh, snug back up, we're gonna come to the top and we're gonna fill it up. So I had a funnel to uh, fill it up, but the, uh, the fill port on this is so big, you can just uh, fill it up. So let's just start adding it. Now this this newer fluid will allow this uh, pump to run a lot more efficient. So as you fill it up, just watch the sight glass. You don't want to overfill it. That's a big difference from that and that. Like, look how clear that is. Look how dark that is. So once you get it to the right level, just put your fill cap back on um i don't know if there's like a specific interval to uh change this fluid but if you do a lot of ac uh work um you might want to you know change it more often um but also keep in mind that if you're not using your pump and it's just sitting around uh you still want to drain um this the old fluid out and change it because that oil you can still break down um, and collect, you know, fluid and condensation and, and moisture. So you still want to change that fluid every now and then. So that's how you change the oil on your vacuum pump. Um, so if you like the video, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll check you on the next one. All right, y'all. So a little bit of bonus footage. So. If y'all was wondering or confused about these two fittings here, um, they basically fit um, different gauges. So depending on what type of gauges you have, will determine which port you use. So it'll have one for HVAC, one for automotive. And again, it depends on the gauges. So um, your, the set of your gauges that you have will only fit one of these two ports so all you got to do is just screw it on there and whichever one it fits that's the one for your gauge but um that's what these two fittings are for different uh type of gauges